guys and today we're going to be doing a vlog type video so i'm going to be taking kit kat to the vet and i normally don't do these type of videos but i know they're highly requested but it's just because my life isn't really productive like i don't really go anywhere or do things that would make it vlog type besides go to the pet store and i pretty much get the same thing every time so it's not like it would be any sort of entertaining unless you wanted to see that i mean then i can like make some arrangements <laughs> But as of right now, we are going to the vet. I have to be there in like an hour and 30 minutes and I still have to drive all the way home, which is like an hour away. Not an hour, but a couple, you know, minutes. Not a couple minutes, like 30 minutes. Uh, Cause I just dropped Michael off at work. And I have to take care of the vet because if you guys know, I don't even know if I addressed it, but when I adopted Kit Kat from the pause center, they said she caught an eye infection from the rest of the cats there and uh they said they treated her and everything so i was like whatever so i blew it off and what she normally had was just like a leaky eye like it would just tear up it was nothing like to be concerned about so i don't really like i never really cared not i wasn't really concerned because she didn't show any signs of blindness and she wasn't you know itching it or it wasn't infected it was just leak so i would use a warm compad once in a while to treat it there are literally smoke clouds like Oh my god. This is bad. Like, I don't know if you could see it, but you see that smoke up there? It just formed. Like, it just popped out. I don't know where. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm getting really off topic, but but now all of a sudden, Kit Kat is like rubbing her eye and itching it, and she has a bald spot on top of her eye. Well, she did, but now it's like healing again. But I don't know. I just want to take her just in case because now the discharge coming out is more, and like right here in her eye is like all crusty. So I called the vet and from when I adopted her, I got a free, free examination from a clinic. I'm not going to be filming like the consultation with Kit Kat. I'm going to like film it, but I'm not going to be like showing what's going on. Like I'll like record the audio and put it in my pocket or something because I respect like the doctor's privacy if they don't want to be put on camera and I don't really want to ask because... You know, I'm not gonna mainly focus this on, hey, like, make sure I get, like, what you're doing to my cat. It's mainly gonna be, like, making sure my cat's okay. And another fun little update I have, I'm officially going to Pet Fest. So I was invited, and it's gonna be great. I'm not gonna spoil anything, because it's secretive right now. They don't really have everything set in stone yet, so I'm not gonna say anything and make people confused. But yes, I am invited to Pet Fest, and I will be attending. I'm definitely afraid of planes. So... I have to fly to the Pet Fest location, but um, I'm very afraid. So I'll be vlogging that whole trip, which will be super fun. But yeah, just letting you guys know, thank you for the support because I was on the phone. I was on the phone. I was on a video call with the Pet Fest, bleh, 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 the Pet Fest planning crew, and they said a lot of people actually requested me to be there. So I'm super excited. And at first i didn't really want to attend because i have a big fan base but i don't know how big of a fan base i have for people to actually you know go out to a certain location and see me but if i do that's like great but i just didn't think i really had enough so i, I was hesitant i was like eh. okay guys i just got out of the apartment because i had to wrestle kick out to get her in the cage but she's in there i'm gonna show you guys her eye look at her right eye well my well it's gonna be on your right so the eye that's closer to this side okay cat come here you see her eye it's kind of like i don't know it was really bad but now of course it looks good but you could see there's like a little scabbing where her eye is but i don't know yeah you see that okay so as you could see it's like a little scabby but it was bad like the other day and i don't even want it to get that bad again so i'm just going to go there and i have a free examination anyway so why not so hopefully they can get her all good and see how she's doing all right guys so we just got to the vet it is right over there literally i got a parking spot in front so that's good so i'm gonna be taking kit kat's crying self in there and yeah How's she overall doing? Eating and drinking okay? Yeah, she's fine, but um, it's just like a little bit of her eye. They said they treated her at the hospital, but okay. um, a while ago she was itching her eye like really bad, and she had like a bald spot on top of her eye. So 
I used um, like a warm cotton pad over it to like maybe ease it for her. And it, the bald spot went away, but she's still itching the eye. And I just don't want it to like happen again if the sure. infection is still there. Both eyes or just one it's eye just, or just her? It's just um, her left eye. Okay, and you said otherwise eating and drinking okay? Yeah, she's fine with all that. Okay, indoor only kitty? Yes. Any other cats in the house? No. She do any sneezing or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, she does sneeze often. Yeah, and she has, I don't know if you can see from the side, she has what's called an adhesion. So when you look at her eye, you can see her iris, it's kind of bulging up. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of, there's nothing really to do about it, but it's a reflection of a chronic injury. Mm -hmm. When she was younger from the shelter, a lot of these cats are already exposed to some of the viruses right. that we're vaccinating for, the herpes virus and Cleef C virus. Right. And that can give them uh, conjunctivitis and ulcers. Mm -hmm. And she at some point probably had an ulcer and as it healed with the scar tissue, she got what's called that little adhesion. Okay. So not much we do about that right now, but the viruses that they, they, these tend to be a little more manageable. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she may even always have a little bit of a drip there. Sometimes we can't knock it out. Okay. Uh, but the, the treatment would be to get her back on some eye antibiotic, see if that lessens it. Right. And she might be a kitty that a couple times a year just needs to go on antibiotic. Okay guys, we are done from the vet. I had my phone out recording and the girl like looked at my phone because I think she noticed I was recording so I shut it off. But basically after what he just told me was, he said she's pretty much gonna have the leaking forever, right? Yeah, something like that. She's gonna have the leaking. It's gonna keep leaking, but he has the ointment to give her to, you know, calm it down and hopefully treat it properly, whatever it was. I'm really bad at like retaining <laughs> retaining information. But uh, all I know is I have to put on ointment on her eye and they show me how to do it and it and I literally have to like scruff her, which I hate doing. I hate scruffing her. She looks like she's in so much pain. Um even when they did it. Not that I'm not scruffing her wrong, I know how to scruff a cat, but I just don't like doing it to her. It just looks like they, they get hurt. So basically, I just paid for the ointment. I got the free visit because I adopted from Paws. They said I can treat her with lysine powder. Uh, it's like a good uh, vitamin type thing to give to the cat. And they also said I could technically cut a Zyrtec tablet in half and give it to her, which I'm thinking about just because it's like allergies, allergy, ugh, allergy related. So I might do that. I don't know. I'm going to see how these, how this ointment works, and um. They said give it seven to ten days to actually like show signs of like, you know, healing. So I'm going to be doing that. All right, guys. So it is the day after I went to the vet and I now have to put the ointment in Kit Kat's eye. So what the doctor did was he scruffed her neck and he just put the ointment like in her eye. And as she blinked, I don't know, the ointment would go throughout her eye. I can't remember the word. So I'm going to try to do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, kitty, you're ready. Are you ready? Come here. They said hold her like a football or scruff her neck, but because Kit Kat likes to squirm, I kind of have to hold her neck. I know, honey. Doesn't make it tribal. I'm trying to see. <laughs> She's making a run for it. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see, but it doesn't look like I'm doing a very good job. And I don't have anybody to film for me, so I'm just going to try it. If you're sensitive to somewhat cat <laughs> restraining then this isn't the video for you because it's hard to get her to sit still and I don't like hurting her. So. I know, I don't want, I don't want to do it either. Okay. There we go. There you go. So I got it in. Oh, <laughs> so I want to see if I can show you guys. Come here, pretty. Come on, look. So you guys can't really tell cause she's antsy and I don't want to bother her anymore, but she's got the women in her eye. I don't mean to do it, but it's only for your better. It's only for your well-being. <laughs> this got her attention. <laughs> 